learners in this video we are going to see generation and coherent direction of binary phase shift keying signal here before we are going to see generation of binary phase shift keying signal we first see what is meant by uh, shift keying and why we go for the uh, distal modulation okay in uh, here this is the binary input data in analog modulation we consider the analog input in digital modulation here we consider a digital input and then here uh, the, uh, the digital modulation is mainly classified into amplitude shift keying uh, frequency shift keying phase shift keying in amplitude shift keying when the signal is transmitted when the simple zero is transmitted at the time there is no pulse is transmitted there is no carrier signal is transmitted when the zero is transmitted when uh, the simple one is transmitted at the time there was a high frequency sinusoidal carrier is transmitted when uh, when at the frequency one at the frequency uh, at, at the symbol one okay this is the given binary sequence for this binary sequence here yeah, this is the amplitude shift keying in amplitude shift keying the amplitude of the sinusoidal carrier signal is varied in according to the amplitude of the binary data here binary data is uh, 0 and 1 if 0 there is no signal is transmitted if the binary data 1 at the time the high frequency signal is transmitted this uh, amplitude shift keying is also called as on off keying and then next one is frequency shift keying in frequency uh, in frequency shift keying the phase of the carrier signal is varied in according to the binary data if the binary data zero is transmitted at the time 180 degree phase shifted sine wave is transmitted if the signal one is transmitted at the time in phase signal is transmitted okay in phase signal is transmitted when the binary signal is one is transmitted okay for frequency shift keying there is two frequency is used for frequency shift keying for zero, the, the frequency of carrier signal is low. For one, the frequency of carrier signal is high compared with the frequency F1 and F2. Here we consider two frequency. F1 frequency is the high frequency. F2 frequency is the low frequency. When the symbol uh, zero is transmitted, then the F2 frequency signal is transmitted. When the um, uh, signal 1 is transmitted at the time, uh, F1 frequency is transmitted. That means uh, the frequency of the carrier signal is varied in according with the binary data. It is known as frequency shift keying. This frequency shift keying has the binary, um, uh, it is also called as binary frequency shift keying with the continuous phase. Now we see the generation of uh, binary phase shift keying. In this binary phase shift keying, it has uh, two blocks. One is non written to uh, zero level encoder and then product encoder. This non written to zero encoder, here the given binary data is encoded into a polar form signal. Here the binary sequence is converted into a polar form signal. Then the output of the encoder is given into the product modulator. In this product modulator, multiply the given signal P of T with the um, a carrier signal. This carrier signal amplitude is square root of 2 divided by Tb cos 2 pi Fct. Here, uh, here, here the timing pulse are used to generate the level encoded uh, signal wave, uh, by, uh, level encoded binary wave and sinusoidal carrier signal are usually used to yes, extract the uh, extract from the common master clock. Here the in coherent modulation, uh, the, the carrier used in the transmitter side the same carrier is used in the receiver side the carrier the same carrier is used in the transmitter side and receiver side in coherent modulation coherent detection here this is the uh, or the coherent director of uh, binary phase safety keying in coherent direction of binary safety keying it has the product modulator the the carrier signal is the Given binary phase shifted keying signal is uh, multiplied with the uh, carrier signal. The same carrier signal is used in the transmitter side. That carrier signal is used in the receiver side. Uh, and then the output of the product modulator is given into the low pass filter. The low pass filter is neglect the double frequency term and it will allow only the zero frequency term. And then uh, the sampler is sampling the signal for every TIB uh, time. Uh, T, uh, ITP time period and decision making cycle will consider whether the given signal is 1 or 
zero, depending upon the threshold value. If the, the if the threshold value is exit, the binary data is considered as one. If the, um, uh, the threshold value is uh, if the uh, output of the uh, low pass filter is uh, higher than the threshold value, then the uh, the, the decision making this device uh, decide the value is equal to one. And uh, if the threshold value is uh, if the output of the low pass filter is less than the threshold value, at the time the output of the decision making circuit is uh, is zero. This is the binary phase shift keying. This is the modulator, and this is the coherent detector. And the sampling is taken as um, zero plus or minus one plus or minus two. In detection, in detection to detect the original binary sequence zeros and one, the PPSK channel output is given into the receiver. This receiver consists of four plug. One is product monitor, low pass filter, sampler, and then decision making device. Product monitor. The same carrier signal is multiplied with the, the binary phase safety gain signal. The output of the product monitor is given into the low pass filter. The low pass filter is removed the double frequency component and we allow only the zero frequency component. And sampler, the sampler uniformly sample the output of the low pass filter at where the local, uh, the local clock governing the operation of sampler, which is synchronized with the transmitter. Uh, decision making device. Decision making device is compare the sampled value of the low pass filter uh, with the threshold. If the threshold is exceeded, if the threshold is exited, then the device is decided in the favor of symbol one. Otherwise, the device is decided in the favor of symbol zero. In binary phase shift keying, that is two signal is transmitted. Um, one is binary zero and another one is binary one. Here, the binary phase shift keying, the S1 of T is represent the binary one and S2 of T is represent the binary two. Here, S1 of T is equal to the square root of 2 EB divided by TB cos 2 pi FCT. Here the range is from 0 T uh, TB. Uh, and then S2 of T is 180 degree phase shifted with the S1 of T. It is equal to minus integral, minus uh, square root of 2 EB divided by TB cos 2 pi FCT. And its range is from 0 T uh, TB. And TB is the bit duration. EB is the energy, transfer energy per bit. And, uh, uh, and and FC is equal to FC, the carrier frequency FC is equal to NC divided by 2. NC is the number of cycle, uh, number of cycle per uh, bit duration. And then uh, here, uh, this, uh, this uh, S1 of T and S2 of T is the only difference between the S1 of T and S2 of T is 180 degree phase signal. This signals are called as antipotent uh, signal. And signal space diagram of the binary phase shift keying. Here, uh, here it, uh, this binary phase shift keying is used only one basis function uh, with the unit energy. The basis function is represented as pi 1 of t. Pi 1 of t is equal to uh, square root of 2 by tb cos 2 by fct. And the t value is changes from 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to tb. And then uh, the transmitter signal is represented as s1 of t and s2 of t. Here S1 of T, if we substitute S1 of T, it is equal to square root of EB into pi 1 of T and S2 of T, it is equal to minus EB into pi 1 of T. And then uh, now we are going to draw the signal cancellation diagram. Here we consider two uh, message point S11 and S21. Here S11 is equal to uh, plus square root of EB and S21 is equal to minus square root of EB. This is the, the signal space diagram and then in this signal space diagram, the S1 of T and S2 of T is represent. This is the S1 of T. Here S1 of T is the, uh, represent the binary uh, 1 and S2 of T is represent the binary 0. Here in this S1 is the in phase signal and S2 is the 180 degree phase shifted signal. Here we consider the n value is equal to 2, n value the number of cycle per uh, uh, per symbol, the number of cycle per symbol is equal to uh, 2, nc equal to 2, here the eb is equal to s11 and the, uh, minus eb equal to s, s21. Here it, it utilizes only one uh, basis function and uh, this is the boundary, decision boundary, decision boundary is equal to 0. 
Here, the error probability of uh, binary phase picking using coherent detection is the receiver is access the uh, the receiver is uh, has to access the locally generated replica of basis function pi one of t, and uh, in another one, the uh, transmitter is uh, synchronized with the receiver. The receiver is synchronized with the transmitter. So, in coherent detection, the uh, the decision rule is in uh, decision rule uh, we apply the decision rule. Uh, into a two region a set of points is close to the uh, close uh, the set of points close to the message point uh, uh, one and a set of point close to the message point two here the midpoint is uh, the midpoint is the decision region and this two region is marked as z uh, one and z two uh, the, the, the decision rule is uh, if the transmitter signal, if the transmitter signal, uh, the fall in the region one, is that one? Then it is decided that the addition the device is decided the value is equal to s one of t. If the received signal is fall in the region z two, that uh, this addition device is decided the value is s two of t. And there is two type of error will occur. The S2 of T is uh, first type is S2 of T is transmitted due to the noise. The received signal is fall in the region S1. So the addition device is uh, decide the value is equal to S1. The, that is one error. If the transmitter signal is S2 of T, but the receiver is uh, decide the value is S1 of N, it is the first error. And second error is is the received the transmitter signal is S1 of T. But due to the noise, the received signal is fall, fall on the region Z2. Then the receiver decides yeah, S2 of T. The actual transmitter signal is S1 of T. But the receiver decides the value is equal to S2 of T. So the error is occur. Here we, can, we calculate the probability of error. Here the Z1 region is between 0 less, less than X1 less than infinity. And then this Z1 is equal to integral of 0 to Tp pi X of T pi 1 of T. The condition probability density function is represent for uh, 0 is the 0 symbol is transmitted. Uh, F of X, uh, X1 bar 0 is equal to 1 divided by pi N of exponential of minus 1 divided by n of x1 minus s21. s21 is equal to minus eb. If we substitute minus eb here, it will be plus eb, the eb the whole square, and then we consider and then we consider the probability of conditional probability. Conditional probability is nothing but the integral of 1 divided by square root of pi n naught integral of 0 to infinity exponential of minus 1 divided by n naught x1 plus square root of eb the whole square into x, uh, dx1. If we substitute z1 value here, z value here, z value is equal to square root of 2 divided by n naught x1 plus square root of EB. If we uh, take, if we substitute is that one, uh, is that one value x one value here, then the limit will be goes one divided by square root of two pi integral of square root of two EB divided by n at infinity exponential of minus x divided by x square divided by z square divided by two into d z. The probability L P one P one naught is equal to Q of integral of two EB divided by n naught. Uh, here, this is the first error, uh, and the next error is if the transmitted signal is uh, one, but the receiver decides the value is equal to zero, then there will be a error. That error is represent p one uh, p zero one, and uh, then uh, the uh, averaging the probability error, it will be equal to p e equal to q of square root of two e b divided by n naught. Uh, to uh, to reduce the probability of error, the transmitter signal energy is increased. EB value is increased, and uh, for the specified value of uh, noise spectral density n naught divided by two, at the time if we increase the EB value, the probability of error is correspondingly reduced. Power spectra of binary phase safety key. Yeah, here uh, in power spectra of binary phase security key, it consists of only in phase com component. The G of T uh, denote the uh, pulse shaping function. G of T is equal to square root of 2 EB divided by TB. Uh, the T value is power spectra of binary signal. Here in power spectra of binary signal, in phase com yeah, it consists of only the in phase component. The in phase component uh, G of T is represented as square root of 2 EB divided by TB. Uh, here the T value is ranges from 0 to T. 
TP and zero otherwise depending upon uh, whether the transmitter uh, transmit the signal zero or one the transmitter output will be plus G of T or minus G of T respectively it is assumed that the binary sequence is random so uh, uh, symbol one and symbol zero is occur equally uh, equal likely probability the symbol uh, transmitted during the different time slot the power spectral density of the random signal is equal to energy spectral density of the symbol divided by uh, symbol duration. The energy spectral density of Fourier transform of G of T is equal to squared magnitude of signal Fourier transform. Here the binary phase shifting keying uh, has the uh, Baseband power spectral density SB of F is equal to 2EB sin square pi TB F divided by pi TB F the whole square. So it is equal to 2EB divided by sin square TB F uh, and the power spectral density is symmetric about the vertical axis and the power spectral density is zero at the multiple of bit rate F equal to plus or minus 1 by TB plus or minus 2 by TB uh, and with the uh, sin square pi F the FTB uh, limited to the maximum value of unity and it fall off the inverse square of the frequency F. This is the power spectral, uh, power spectral of uh, uh, binary phase safety keying. In power spectral, it has the symmetry about the real uh, vertical axis and, uh, and, uh, and every uh, bit duration, the, uh, the power spectral density is equal to zero and, uh, and then the square value, it has the inverse function of, uh, inverse square of the frequency. Thank you.